Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we will begin talking about standard form. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on point slope form and slope intercept form, they will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out. Now, standard form will be a x plus b y equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. And there are three rules that you need to follow when writing equations in standard form. So rule number one has to do with a, and it basically states that a cannot be a negative number. So we can't have something like negative x or negative 3x. Now rule number two has to do with a and b. And it states that both a and b can't be zero at the same time. So if a were zero, then we would get this whole term would be equal to zero and we would be left with by equals c, which is still in standard form. And if b is equal to zero, then this whole term would be zero and we would have a, we would be left with ax equals c. And that would still be standard form. But if both a and b were zero, then both of these terms would be zero and we would have zero on the left hand side equals c. And it will most likely not be true. And last but not least, rule number three is related to all three, A, B, and C. It basically states that A, B, and C all have to be integers, and there are no fractions or decimals in standard form. So we can't get something like negative three halves x or two-thirds y. So with that in mind, let's write a few examples. So a cannot be a fraction or a decimal, and it can't be negative. So it has to be a whole number like 2. So we could have something like 2x and minus 3y equals 15. So this would be an example of an equation in standard form. Now if a equals zero, then we would get some, this whole term would be zero and we'd have zero plus by equals c or by equals c. So something like negative three y equals 15 would also be in standard form. Now if b was equal to zero, then this whole term would be zero and we'd have ax plus zero equals c or ax equals c. And so something like 2x equals 15 would still be in standard form. And that's it for equations in standard form. If this video is helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.